I have uh, kind of an interesting idea I'm going to try to figure out, but online I saw this really clever knife holder and the way they did it is they took a knife and then they took some powerful uh, neodymium magnets and they had them hovering just like right above this thing so it could either dangle like that or if you make the space correct it I can't almost hold it this way but the knife will just balance like that and quiver with the magnet above it. Uh, this is just an experiment but it's a lot of fun just sometimes to step out in faith into kind of a area of unknown and see if you can pull it off. So that's what I'm going to do and if you'd like to join me on this journey let's go. Now to mark my wood what I'm going to do is take and go up uh, let's see about an inch and a half and I'm going to go up an inch and a half because I'm planning to put dowel holes in the bottom so I need to leave a little bit of wood for those dowels to go into. Then I'm going to plan by setting the knife right on the base and then going up to the top and making a mark right at the tip of the knife. Now I know right there, if I put the magnet, it's just gonna to stick to it all the time. So I'm gonna leave a little gap and I'm gonna mark again, that's the space where there's going to be nothing. And then I'm going to go up and make one last mark. And this mark is going to be the wood that the magnet is going to be placed into. You can see right here I've placed the magnet where I'm going to embed it in this top section. I have two choices on this. I can make it hang right here within this shape or I think I'm tempted to go more exotic because it'll look cool. This may be a big fail, stay with me here, but I can cut this at an angle and tip it and then have the knife hang out here and kind of quiver in the air and I think that's what I want. So what I'm going to do is kind of get an idea looks like about like that. So it looks like I need to make an angle about like that on there. And this is really kind of Mickey Mouse, but I'll just go like this. I'll start conservative because it can always cut more off. I'll cut that much of an angle off and see where that tip gets me. Stay with me now. <laughs> Well, if it works, I think this is going to look pretty cool. See that angle? It, it'll dangle there just right above the base. I don't know if you can see that very well, but if I could pull that off, that'll look really nice. So, next step, I'm going to cut this out on the bandsaw, this shape, and then we'll go from there. Notice I'm not anywhere near my pattern there. Um, I went way over it because I can always uh, go to the belt sander and kind of trim that and make it look nice. Remember when you're dealing with patterns like this, the only person that knows where that original pattern was is you and possibly several thousand people watching this eventually. Um, so it doesn't matter when you're all finished. Now I'm going to go ahead and make this cut. I'm going to try to stay flat here so I can have a nice placement spot for the magnets. And then I'm going to curve down here, right through there. I'm going to go ahead and put trace around these magnets so I have a general idea what I have to carve out. And it's going to be a little tough because I've left this kind of radius in the profile and I have to carve through that too. But I think I can do it. We'll see what happens here. Now with the Dremel tool I made this little rectangle here and then I'm going to take some of these carving tools and chisel out this area so my magnets will fit in there. After a little bit of chiseling this is what I have and 
my magnets can go in there like that. Naturally I got a little bandsaw ripple in here so I'll take this and I think it has the right radius to clean it up a little bit. Now I'm going to jump over to the belt sander and clean up this top curve and make it look nice and maybe do a little bit on these sides. Vacuum and power. And maybe plug it in too. <laughs> That's what happens when you get to be 71. You forget steps. So I like the way this curved thing is working out because it should be hanging about right there. And if I leave about a half an inch on this side and a half an inch here, then I'm going to come out to about right here. So I'm going to make this uh, cross cut and maybe round the corners a little bit. Now this is kind of high risk, but I'm thinking of taking a router and rounding this down to here and maybe rounding it here and stopping right there because if I try to router this I'm just going to blow this thing right off. So I'll go ahead and set that up right now. Now I'm going to use this large washer to get a radius on each corner and then I'll go over to the bandsaw and trim this off up to the line and then finish it off with the belt disc sander. Now I'm going to take a little router edge around here. Rather than router in this real risky area, I can go up here next to this drum and just kind of hit a round on there. And I'll do that right now. I'm going to use blue tape on here so I don't go too far and then I'm going to set this as a guide for me so I know I'm going pretty close to 90 degrees into here. Now you may wonder how in the world is that guy going to use two holes and line them up with dowels that are going to be placed into here. And here is where I have this wonderful little trick. This isn't really a trick, but it really works like a trick. These are dowel center points. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my quarter inch ones because that's the size drill I used. And then I can take and I can set this right here in these two holes. And then these may slip out. Yeah, one's going to slip out, so I'll, I'll be flipping it over like this. And then when I get it right where I want it, I'll push down really hard and then I'll have two center points down here that will be perfectly aligned with these and then I can set that right in there. I'm really pleasantly surprised the way this thing turned out, getting the distance just right. So I put some uh, boiled linseed oil on this and popped out the colors. I haven't put in the dowels yet, but I want to show you you can use this two ways. One is I can just hang it like that. Or what looks cooler is to just set it like that. And it just stays there, just hovering. And then you can grab it and use it. Now here's a little method so you can figure out how long of a dowel do you need to cut that will go into this hole and into the adjoining hole but won't be too long that it holds everything high or too short that it doesn't meet. So what I do is I take this caliper and I put the tail of it down in the hole and I go down to the base of that hole and then I take it and I mark it on the dowel. It's kind of hard to do when I'm trying to stay out of the way of the camera. And then I go into the corresponding hole and do the same thing. Now this one, maybe I made it longer, so I'll have to slide it. There's the corresponding hole. Then I'll pull it on down. 
and that's the length. And then I set it next to this other line, mark it, and then that's where I need not to make my cut right there because that's going to be the exact length. So I'll just go in, let's say, an eighth of an inch and make my cut. That's a little space for the glue to go into. Now here's a nice trick. Cutting a piece of dowel with a hacksaw. Just put it in a vise and stabilize it real good. And then take it and just drag it back and forth, up and down the teeth. And what I'm doing here is I'm cutting a ring around the dowel. Often you can get a lot of splintering if you just try to cut straight through. So I'll drag it and drag it and I'm wringing it. And take a look. There you see, all the way around. Now it can't splinter and break off. I like to take the dowel and run it down the hacksaw blade. And this will put grooves all around the dowel. That will allow the epoxy glue to go into the grooves and you won't get too tight of a fit and also a better bond when it's in there. Just take a look at the end of this dowel and the grooves all the way around. Wow, I'm really excited about the way this turned out. I just took and put two part epoxy, set it right down on the dowels and you can either hang the knife from the magnet, which looks pretty cool, or you can take it, and I prefer just letting it kind of wobble and balance like this. This was a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. Take care.